One last piece of information that you could use to help format your place mark is uh, knowing just a little bit of HTML. There's one little tag that you can use to help uh, with spacing. Uh, there's lots of other things, but for the, for the most part, uh, this one particular tag is going to help you keep the spacing a little bit better and look a little bit better on your place mark. Now, if you notice right here under my picture, there's like really no space between my picture and my video. And so the, you would think that if you right clicked on your place mark and went to properties and went in between your two elements, this is your image element and this is your video element. And if you just go in and just hit a bunch of carriage returns, you would think that that would push it down. And so let's take a look and see what happens. If I click okay, and then I click on Austin, Texas again, you will notice that the video is still butted up against the picture. And that's not really what we wanted. It's not like a word processor or uh, where you could just hit carriage returns or hit the enter button uh, key and it will give you that space. So we have to know a little bit of HTML in order to get that done. So if I right mouse click that and go to properties, you will see that I've got all that space. Um, Google Earth kind of ignores that. So what I want to do, there is a tag in there and uh, this is basically what it is. You use the little open alligator symbol and then you type in the word BR or the letters BR and that stands for break. And you can do several of those. Well, we'll just do one to see what happens. And I'm going to click OK. Let's get rid of this first just so we can see it easier. And I'm going to click OK. And now when I click on Austin, Texas, you will see that there's going to be a little bit of space between my video. It's not much, but it's a little bit. And you can use the break to um, as many times as you want. So I'm going to right mouse click it, go to properties, and I'm going to type in several of these breaks. And you will see what happens. Now I'm going to put one here as well. And watch this, you don't really even need to put it on a separate line. I like to do it just because it's easier to read, but I could just leave it just like that and it would be fine. I'm just going to hit that, and so I'm going to have one little break there and four little breaks there. And when I click OK, and then click on my tour to have it pop up, you will see that there's more space. Now, breaks just give you a little bit of space, so you can see right here there's not a whole lot of space, but there is just a teeny bit. You would have to go in and really, really change um, um, or add more breaks. So like if I wanted to add more breaks here, I could. So I've got four breaks there and four breaks there. And when I click on it, you will see that there's now more space. So you could, you have to play with that to see how much you want to put in there. And you can put in text in there and, and, and make it look as, as pretty as you want. All right. That is, if you have that little trick, I think you will be set to go.